Hey everybody, it's Debbie. I am putting together a quick little video here for you today to see our brand new release of our Sheer Spring Polishes. And there they are in all their splendor. A couple of gold ones hiding in here as well. I'm gonna to put together for you a plaid look. We designed these beautiful polishes to work alongside of our festive release that happened this Christmas with our festive plaid plates. There are two of them. They are CJS C84 and CJS C83. So if you have these in your collection already, then you're ready to go. And if not, never fear they are still available of course they are going to be available all year round because they are so versatile you can never go wrong with a really pretty plaid so let's go ahead and put together a little look here and show you what these pretty polishes can do so this one is as i said cjs c84 and of course you've got your how to there's your spec sheet that shows you basically the, the different preset designs that you can make. You can always freestyle it. And then on the back, you've got the directions, all the different things that you want to layer to get a certain look. This one, this one is huge. We are not doing that one today. Um, that is that guy. No, I'm lying. Which one is that? Yeah, no, it is that guy. Um, so it shows you how to get from here to there. So you kind of, can't be steered wrong and they're lined so they're they're pretty easy to follow i think what i'm going to do right now though is just a little bit of freestyling where we're going to use just the different stripes and such put together to make our own pretty little plaid i want to do i'm going to do stripes and i'm going to start with i like to do three different colors and this is why i'm kind of not going by the the book over there because I want to just create uh, let's go to you just to be a little bit more contrasty okay so I've got my three colors on there and now I'm going to scrape once across and then I'm going to quickly roll over top you want to just commit when you are rolling um, lines. Lines are the big ones. Now, I'm gonna flip this because you can see the way that that has lifted. Okay, well, we'll just turn it around and put it where it fits. And that way you're not wasting time or polish. Oh boy, but we are wasting polish because that is not sticking. Must have been something on there. Okay, let's give it a wipe and go again. Make sure that's dry because those trays are quite deep. And get our polish back in here. Oops. Try not to mess up my brushes here by stuffing them back into the bottle improperly because that can really cause those bristles to stand up. Okay, now roll quick over top so that we don't wobble out our lines. Okay, so let's see if this works better. Not sure what was on there. Could have just been from me picking them up. There. So there are our first three little colors. And what are those? 239. 238 and 240. Okay, the next ones I'm gonna do, we only really have room to pick up probably, oh, are we even gonna get two off that one? Let's go, yeah, let's try those and see. Just because of the width of our nail, but we can go to one side or the other if we end up not being able to get them both on. That's easy enough. And let's pull the purple here. Super quick. Mm, bit of a wobble, but not too bad. 
Not too bad. I'm not convinced we're gonna get both of these. Oh, I think we are, look at that. I think we will get both of these on here just a little bit. So I'm just gonna kind of go straight down the center and pop those in place. And now these are gonna crisscross over top of one another and create different colors. Up at the top they will anyway. We're quite pointy, so there's nothing that's connecting over top of our of our green. And the pink is light enough that well, it's just a little bit more of a pinky peach, I guess. Okay, so we've got all of our pretty little colors on there now, our pastels. Let's grab our gold. I'm gonna go number 51. And I'm gonna use this guy right here that's down in this right corner. I may end up having to turn the whole image, we'll see, to get it to lay in the right spot over here. Especially when you're freestyling, you can end up having to roll things around a little bit to get them to match up. Okay, so we've got that guy picked up in one. Now, let's see. See, because if I go right there, it's probably not going to make it all the way to the edge over here with that guy. So I think what I want to do is just flip it around and let's see if it's better. It's really no different. So let's just go with it right there, right down the center. Figure out where you want it, commit and go. And that's pretty. <gasps> I like that. That's lovely. And you know, we could have gone with a finer one off this other plate if we wanted to, and just pulled up one of these fine ones. But I really, I really like that. It's very pastel -y and pretty. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do another one. Let's clean off our plate. And decide what we're going to do. That one I had semi-planned. I do not have a plan for another. So, in that case, what I would suggest doing is grab your spec sheet. Uh, let's switch plates just for giggles. Whoops, dominoes. And we'll flip and decide which one of these we want to make. I think. This one's got hearts in it, so why don't we do the one that has hearts in it? Either this one or this one. This one looks really similar to the one we just did, so maybe we go for the one that's a lot more involved. This one just has one, two, three of the hearts. Oh, I love this. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, so it's three, eight, and 10. And that's going to give us a little bit of guidance. So Carly has all of these numbered for us. So three, eight, and 10 are little hearts. But I feel like that's missing one. We're missing the cross one. This is the one that we're missing. Okay, this is actually the perfect one to do. Because with this one, <laughs> we're just missing, we've got the up and down reds. We are missing the cross over greens. So with this one, there is one layer missing, but if you look at the end picture, it can be figured out. We can do this. Okay, so let's grab this little guy. And what do we wanna do for kind of a, a color palette? Let's go, I wanna go with the ones that are a little bit darker. So let's go green. Green all the way with our up and down, and that's this guy. We'll do this all green this time instead of switching up the colors. You can see what that's gonna look like. Get that guy picked up. And these are going up and down. So how many are we gonna get on here? We're not getting a three. So let's just go, we'll go to the right side and do two. Clean that off. And now we're gonna go right beside with the cross ones. 
and let's do them in, let's do them in teal, and then we'll do purple, and then maybe do a gold. Yeah, I don't know, we'll try it. We'll try it. If we don't like it, we can always start over again. No big deal. Sometimes you just gotta play with it and see what you like. Um, how's our lift on this? Kind of not good. So let's do it again. I'm gonna be lazy. I'm not gonna clean it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. What kind of travesty we create here. Boom. That was better. That's better, much better. We've got nice crisp lines. We want crisp lines. Otherwise, crisp lines are bust. Boom. So we picked the part of the image that was the straightest and truest and popped it down. Okay. So now we need, referring back here, we've done our one and our missing one. Now we need number eight and then we're doing hearts. Okay, so now we need number eight. Let's do number eight in soft purple. Why not? And then we'll do our hearts. Hmm, not either pink or gold. Okay, wait, what was I doing here? I want to clean that guy up. Make sure that there's nothing dried in this delicate, this is super, super delicate, this image. So make sure it's clean. Don't have any overhead fans blowing that are gonna dry that in four seconds flat once I scrape it. So I should be able to roll over. Yep, and pick that up pretty easily. And now I'm just gonna come around with this guy, clean out those little extras we picked up that we definitely do not want on our manicure. I think that's gonna make it this Right there, we'll make it to the edge, I believe. So we'll go with it. Now I'm gonna line it up. And when I decide I like it, I'm just gonna get in there and push. I'm a tiny bit wobbly here on this guy right here, but not bad. Not bad enough that I'm gonna pull it up and redo it. But that's even pretty just like that without any without any hearts, but let's do hearts and let's do them in gold so that it matches the one that we've already done. We could do it in another color, but let's do it in gold just to kind of keep that consistency and tie those things in together. So that's number 10. Now we are, I don't think we're gonna need all three, but let's get them ready just in case. Now to make sure that we pick these hearts all up, Scrape and immediately be right behind to pick up and do a nice, slow, kind of deliberate pickup. Now, these are not all perfect, but let's line up here and see if it works. So it's going to go in all the places where we crisscross here with the three, right? And they're not perfect. However, these six kind of are. So I'm going to go ahead and place those six. Give them a little push and a wiggle, make sure that they move over. And now I'm going to look on here. Do I like any of these? Uh, that one's okay, but it's not perfect. I just need one that's going to be perfect on the right side because that's literally the only that's literally the only one we're missing. But there honestly isn't one that I love. So let's clean that off. And we'll pick up another heart. I have to clean it. Clean it and dry it. Making a mess. 90% of the fun. So let's just pick up maybe four. Let's go for four and hopefully we've got one that we love. Do 
do we have one that we love? Check it out. I'm pretty picky and I'm not gonna lie, I don't have one that I love. Because it only needs to be pretty on that right side. So, scraping in this direction left a void on this side, which is the side that we need. So, let's go ahead and scrape the other direction and see if that fixes our problem. Ready? Sure did. It sure did. Those are actually, wow, it really fixed the problem because these are all perfect. And we only need, we only need one. So we're only gonna have one. We'll just clean off all these extras. Get up there, you. I'm good at fighting on this here. Okay, got to use the sticky pad. There. And now we need our one little heart right down here. But you can see why it had to be kind of perfect, because it's gonna sit right at the tip of this nail on this pretty little plaid situation we got going here. Check it out. Put these guys together. Look at that. <gasps> these colors. They're so pretty. Okay, so we've got a couple of super cute plaids going on using our Christmas plates. So they're not really Christmas plates. These are plaid plates. These are festive and they can be festive for any situation, for any season. So now using our really pretty sheer polishes over here, let's do something floral to complement these and go on one of these other nails. Let's grab some peach because it's the Pantone color of the year. What do we want to put with the peach? Pink is kind of, I don't know, is that going to disappear? I feel like green might be kind of weird. So let's go purple. We'll just kind of dot it in. Remember it's sheer, but it's still going to give you decent coverage. Now, Gonna, let's see if I can lift with my left hand. <laughs> Look at that. She does it. She does it. It's a miracle. I'm just going to check that guy. That it's the obvious way. Because now when I come with my outline... I want to be able to just go straight to the snail without having to adjust sort of in a circular motion where I'm going to put that down, right? So if I know that it's coming off the plate the same way that it came off for the base, then I know I can just literally go right over to my nail and pop it down in place. Come on, focus me. There we go. Check it out. Super simple. Now you could have scraped that a couple of times and blended those colors together even more if you wanted. Let's do that maybe with a with the leaves here. We'll do them kind of this pretty aqua color along with our minty green. And let's give them a double swipe. Get rid of this gold outline here. What did I use? 51. Okay, so this guy, where's our outline? He's already covered, so it doesn't matter. So let's go over twice, and then you can see the blending that happens there. Really pretty. I feel like I want to redo that flower now. Scrape it a couple of times instead. Because holy smokes, that's gorgeous. Put that down 
right there. Now we're going to have to give this a little clean up because our outline's got polish in it from that first base layer. And we'll do our 51 over here. Nice and light. Get all those pretty little details. We'll put a couple little splits in this jelly see once in a while here but it still works great and that's just from pressing down on these these tips slicing them open a little bit so take your time putting it down and look at that gorgeous flower really really pretty soft pastels Look at that. We are ready for spring. Oh my gosh, so ready for spring. So those new sheer polishes are available right now. They come in a kit or they come separately, whichever you prefer, but they are going to be a staple for spring for sheer. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.